Hey Tubers, welcome back for another adventure. So like most of my stories, this one is going to start the same. I was at the flea market and there was a guy who uh, is kind of a dumpster diver and he found this thing in a dumpster somewhere. So I took a look at it and he sold it to me for five dollars and I figured it's got a lot of cool parts in it. but. What I wanted to do was a little forensic work on it to see what it is and what what I can find out about it. First thing I did is I copied everything off of it, like this Removatron model number and all that kind of stuff. And I looked up all this junk on the internet, including the FDA number, registration number, and everything else. And as near as I could tell, uh, this company does not exist. <laughs> He described it as a uh, medical device for medical quackery. So I don't know if he found more than I did or if he found nothing and just decided that it was a medical device for medical quackery. It's missing whatever the transducer was, whatever um, I guess you apply to a person. Um, that That did not come with it or if it did, he kept it and didn't give it to me but anyway I figured for five bucks I had a couple of pretty cool meters you know I had this whole digital display thing in the back of it I think you could see a key switch fuse couple of cords and there's an hour meter so in my mind when I looked at that I figured that was well worth the five bucks plus the box were all good um, what I did was, before I attempted to power it up or anything, I opened it up to look inside to make sure there was not some strange source of radiation. Also, when you kind of look at the components, you can get an idea what year this is built and from and all that other kind of stuff. Also, you can kind of get an idea of, of is this a one-of-a-kind or mass-produced. Given all the separate boards and all that kind of stuff, I was looking at this and I was thinking, this was not mass produced. Somebody built this, perhaps in their basement. Um, it only has five hours runtime on the clock. And as I look all over it, and uh, dog's in the way, I keep running across. See, like that 86. 23 there's a bunch some of the components have 87 on them some of them have 85 84 so I think this thing was built probably in the late 80s I've been able to determine that much and as you look at it you know there's various pieces of it obviously you kind of have a power supply here and this is a power supply board that provides five volts volts so this is kind of power for the unit and then you have this thing here which I think is providing the power for whatever is happening to you what you have here when you see these kind of things and tuning you also have a crystal here for oscillation this is some kind of oscillating circuit and this here I think provides the timing and the digital display so all of that you know really really pretty cool um, and then I wanted to take a minute to see if it still functioned so there's a little foot pedal here and you have timing here so you got low heat and then total time so if you push the foot pedal and watch the output power and the time right all at the same time so it appears to be a manual device that when you push the foot pedal it goes to low heat for four seconds as I have it set here and then it goes up to high power for four more seconds to give you a total time of eight seconds. And then it beeps at which time you let go of the power or you're still 
toasting your person or doing whatever this thing does. Um, off the top of my head, and he kind of, I guess he said it, he thought it was some kind of hair removal device. Um, possibly, right? You kind of put a probe on somebody and step, step on the button and wait a certain amount of time and then let it go, um, which is cool. For me, what am I going to do with it? I'm, I'm not quite sure yet. Obviously, you know, given that the relay comes up, um, the, the only problem is you have to let go of the pedal. So I'm not sure if one would use it to kind of, you know, increment something, like you step on the pedal and the low power brings it down and then the high power does whatever process and then when it beeps, you let go of the pedal and the whole thing, you know, retracts and gets out of the way. I, I guess it could be used for that kind of thing. But in the meantime... I enjoyed the forensic analysis of it, and I got a couple of cool milliamp meters, and I got this timer, and I got this foot pedal, and then I got an hour meter, and I got a power supply, I got a big capacitor, and I got this box. I'd have to say that the harvest on this thing, if I parted it out, I mean, if you start looking at meters and everything else, um, you're looking at quite a bit of money probably the hour meter alone is well worth um more than the the purchase price so i thought you guys might find this uh interesting analysis of a medical quackery device i want to thank you all for uh dropping by to watch and comment and subscribe please remember to keep your feet down your heads up and uh, give me a thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this particular one. It's a little change from my normal stuff, but let me know if you want to see more. All right, folks, take care now. Bye.